next problem is problem number 3. So, the integral of dx over 9x squared plus 6x plus 5. So, kung titignan natin, malinis yung denominator, hindi siya naka-square root, pwede natin kung uh, i-verify nyo kung applicable yung ating logarithmic function for this one. So, pwede nyo itry. Kung yung u ba, merong du sa denominator, pero obvious naman na na yung du ng ating 9x squared plus 6x plus 5 is 18x 18x plus 6 dx. So, malayo. No? Wala kasing terms sa numerator natin. Kaya, ang gagawin natin is to uh, proceed sa inverse trigo. So, yung inverse trigo natin, isa lang naman yung walang square root doon. That is yung du over a squared plus u squared is equal to 1 over a, our tangent of u of for a plus c. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to iporma. Okay? Iporma natin itong denominator na to in terms of a squared plus u squared. So, pwede tayong mag-guess and check. Pwede natin itry yun. Okay. So, yung given kasi natin na uh, denominator is 9x squared plus 6x plus 5. So, para magkaroon tayo ng a squared, pwede namang balik na rin yan. u squared plus a squared. Pwede yan. So, pwede natin uh, gawin na 9x squared plus 6x. Okay. Pwede tayo mag plus 1. Tapos, kasi yung 5, kailangan natin makuha yung uh, last term ng u. Last term nito at saka yung a squared. So, pwede yung perfect square kasi, for example, is 4. 4 and 1, ba? So, plus 4. Ayan. Giniwalay natin yung 5 into 2. Ginawa natin, pinigay natin yung isang term dun sa magiging last term ng u natin, u squared. Tapos, itong isa na perfect square is a squared. Ngayon, verify natin kung itong 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 is a perfect square binomial. So, paano lang natin magba-verify? Paano ka mag-check? Tingnan mo yung first term. At saka yung last term. Okay? Yan ang, dyan ka magbabase. Okay? Yung first term natin, 9x squared. Kasi yung binomial form natin is a plus b squared. Diba? a squared yan plus 2ab plus b squared. So, tignan mo. Yung a, dun mo kasi magkukuha what is a at saka what is b. So, yung a mo, yung a natin ay, yung a squared natin ay 9x squared. So, kapag a squared mo yung 9x squared, ang mamukukuha mo ay 3x. Ngayon, last term naman natin, so plus plus naman lahat. So, yung last term natin is b squared. So, ano ba yung last term natin? 1, 1, 1 squared, b squared yon So, ano yung b? So, plus 1. Okay. Ayan. Plus, dugtong mo si 4 ngayon. Or, ang a natin ay 2. Okay, 2 squared. Ayan. A squared is 2 squared. So, verify natin. Is 3x plus 1 equivalent to 9, 9x squared plus 6x plus 1? Equivalent ba siya? So, try natin. 3x squared plus 2 times 3x times 1. Kasi this is A, this is B. And then, 1. 1 is B. So, that is 9x squared plus 2 times 3 times 1 is 6x plus 1. So, siya. So, ito siya. Siya pa rin. So, Ito, papalitan natin ngayon. Burahin ko na to. So, palitan natin ngayon si given ng, ito kang lalagay, dx ng uh, 3x plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. Ano susunod natin gagawin? Magba-verify kung yung u ba, kasi kailangan yung u mo merong d sa taas. Ano ba yung u mo? Yung u na mo ay 3x plus 1 Ang du niyan ay 3dx. So, kailangan mo lang ng 3. Okay, yung 3 mo, 3, maglagay ng 3, maglagay ng 1 third. So, equals 1 third times 1 over a. 1 over a, ano yung a natin? Ang a mo, okay, lagay na natin, ang a is, so, ang a is 2. a squared is 4. So, 1 over a, 1 half. Okay, arc tangent ng u. U is 3x plus 1 over 2 plus c. Or we can write that or simplify 1 over 6 arc tangent. Okay, ng 3x plus 1 over 2 plus c. So, yan yung ating 
final answer for number three. Okay, next problem. There is four na time. Okay, number four, integral of dx over 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Again, kamukha niya yung arc tangent. Kasi, wala siyang wala siyang square root plus, obviously naman, 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Ang derivative niyan is 6x minus 2 dx. Okay, sa numerator kalhine. Sa kaya kailangan mag arc tan tayo dito. So, write na lang, i-rewrite natin uli para meron kang yung guide. So, pwede yung u squared plus a squared is equal to 1 over a arc tangent negative 4 u over a plus c. Okay, unahin natin yung denominator. Ayan. So, first, kung gusto yung gamitin yung kanina, sample, gamitin natin yung gets ng check. Sige. Ayan. Ito ba ay perfect square binomial? So, 3 ang ano natin, 3 squared at saka 1. So, square root of 3 squared, yun palang may hirapan na tayo kasi kung ang a mo ay a squared ay square root, uh, kung a squared mo, kasi 3x squared minus 2x plus 1, ipapattern natin siya sa a plus b squared. Tama? So, kung ang a natin squared ay 3x squared, so kung kukunin natin yung square root niyan, ang a natin ay square root of 3x. Okay? So, medyo... Um, dito pa lang, mahihirapan tayong kunin yung ating roots ng 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 4 in terms of guess and check. Meron pang isa kasing technique na madali, okay? Susundan natin yung procedure ng completing the square. This is an algebraic tool. So, sa algebra, tinuro sa inyo yan on how to complete the square of a given uh, quadratic equation. Para makuha natin yung perfect square. Ano yan. So, ang first rule kasi dyan ay uh, tanggalin muna. Kailangan kasi malinis. Wala dapat numerical coefficient yung x squared. So, 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Yun ang rule kapag nagko-complete the square. So, kung tatanggalin natin yung 3, magiging x squared ito. Ito magiging, para maging 2, papapinactor out yung 3 sa 2. So, that is 2 thirds x. Huwag na natin isama si 5, no? Plus 5 na agad dito. Ayan. Ganyan na lang siya. Okay? Yan ba ay equal dito? Equal siya. So, 3. Kung multiply natin, 3x squared minus 3 times 2 thirds, that is, cancel out, cancel out, 2x, tapos dugtong lang si 5. Take note, sinactor out ko yung part ng ito lang, itong part lang na to. Ayan. Yung part lang na yan. Tapos sinunod ko lang uli yung 5, no? Hindi siya sinama. Okay, pwede yun. Kasi ito lang naman ang i-complete ko. Itong part ng green, ayan, siya yung i-complete natin. What would be the last term para maging perfect square? Okay? Para maging perfect square yung ating term. No, hindi kasama yung 5. Okay, after that, so ano ba yung next step? Okay, para mahalaman natin, kasi ganyan yan. 3, ay. So, 3, Okay, x squared minus 2 thirds, x. Ano ba yung, let's say plus or minus, ano ba yung last term? Ano ba dapat ang lalagay dito para maging perfect? Perfect uh, square yung ating term dito. Yung term natin dyan, umlaan natin, i-identify natin yung umlaan. I mean, i-identify natin kung ano dapat yung term dyan. So, paano yung gagawin natin? So, tingnan mo ngayon yung middle term. Next step is, uh, tingnan mo yung middle term. So, yung middle term, so, ang middle term natin, uh, yung gitna, no? Basta naka-arrange siya in descending order. Uh, x squared, tapos x, tapos yung constant. So, yung middle term natin is negative 2 thirds. Ngayon, yung negative 2 thirds, i-divide mo yan ng 2. Okay. So, divided by 2, or that is 2 over 1. So, 2 times, 2 times, 2 times neg uh, 1, negative 2 times 1 is 2. Tapos, ito ay 3 times 2, 6, or that is negative one-third. Okay? Tama. Negative one-third. Okay. Tapos, pagkatapos mo uh, dinivide by uh, by 2, i-squared mo ngayon to. What is the squared of negative one-third? So, 1 
over 3 squared is 9. Ayan. So, ito na ngayon. Ito ngayon yung nawawala si 1 third. Okay? Ito ngayon yung nawawala last term mo na mag-complete mag sa ating squared. Pero, since nag-introduce ka ng 1 over 9, mag-introduce ka ngayon dito ng uh, minus yung term na yun. So, 1 over 9, pero hindi 1 over 9 ang ima-minus mo kasi itong 1 over 9, nakamultiply siya ng 3. So, 1 over 9 times 3 is 3 over 9 or 1 over 9. So 1 over 9 times 3 is 3 over 9 or that is 1 over 3. 1 third. So, magma-minus ka ngayon ng 1 third. Okay? Nagets ba yun? Bakit tayo nag-minus ng 1 third? Kasi naglagay ka ng 1 over 9 times 3 sa term. So, kapag nagdagdag ka, hindi pwede magdadagdag ka sa isang term. So, binago mo yung original na term nun. So, ang gagawin mo, tanggalin mo uli yon So, 1 over 9 times 3, minus mo uli 1 over 9, okay, times 3 is 1 third. So, mag-minus ka ng 1 over 3 sa labas. So, in short, parang wala kang ginawa sa equation, inayos mo lang para makuha natin yung perfect square ng term natin kasi kailangan siya. So, ito ngayon, ano ba yung perfect square ngayon? Okay. So, ito ngayon, si 3, pwede mo nang i-express siya into a perfect square binomial sa binomial. Ano ngayon yung factors nito? Okay. Ang factors ngayon ay x. Ano yung uh, second term? Okay. Tandaan mo lang kung ano yung sagot nung dinivide mo. Yung Middle term, which is negative 2 thirds ng 2. Ano yung sagot? That is negative 1 third. So, minus 1 third. Yan na yun. Para hindi mo na isipin ano yung factors for this perfect square uh, binomial mo na x squared minus 2x, 2, 2, of, 2 third of x plus 1 over 9. So, tandaan mo lang, no? Kung ano yung sagot nung dinivide mo yung middle term, okay, ng 2, okay, that is negative 2, 6 and sinimplify mo, that is negative 1 third. Siya na yung second term mo sa factors ng binomial squared. Okay, plus, what is 5 minus 1 over 3? 5 minus 1 over 3 is 14 over 3. Ayan. So, eto na ngayon, yung ating papalit dito. Ipapalit na natin yan. Kasi meron ka ng u squared dyan. Ito naman yung a squared mo. Aayusin na lang natin mamaya. Okay. So, tanggalin natin yan. I-write natin. So, equals, okay, dx over, so that is 3 times x minus 1 third squared plus 14 over 3. Ayan. 